Let me first introduce myself. My name's Riveter, and today I'd like to discuss a general issue that I have with the YouTube universe in general. Let me explain. You see, when I was a kid growing up, I had heroes like John Wayne. Well, son, since you haven't learned to respect your elders, it's time you learn to respect your betters. Huh? You can call me father, you can call me Jacob, you can call me Jake, you can call me a dirty son of a bitch. But if you ever call me daddy again, I'll finish this fight. Charles Bronson. You see, this is who I grew up with, and I was watching them on television, or I watched them in the movies. And these were the baddest guys walking the planet. There was never a question. They had a mission, they knew what they were going to do, and they did it. They didn't back down, they never cried, and they sure as hell never said, I'm sorry. Over the past few weeks, I've watched a few YouTubers out there cry and moan. I never said it was the victim! And bitch and complain. He's been mocking me, saying degrading stuff about me. Because somebody made a video about this person, or they made a video about that person, and uh, whatever. When you put yourself out there on YouTube, you are an entertainer, and you are subject to criticism. Period. You can't stand criticism, you don't want to be criticized for the work that you're putting out there, then guess what? Shut your channel down, take your toys, and go the freak home. Okay? I'm so sick and tired of this universe that we are living in, where this day and age, where guess what? Political correctness tells us we can't say this, or we can't say this, or that about this individual or that individual because, ooh, they have a challenge or other skin color or whatever. You know what? Screw that, okay? I'm tired of that. Now, I'm going to speak specifically about one situation here, and this was the whole Leafy and H3H3 situation, okay? So, I subscribe to Leafy. I find his videos amusing. They're funny, okay? Uh, they're not exactly what I would probably do. I don't necessarily like roasting people in a sense that uh, just for the sake of roasting. I've got friends, and yeah, I, I, I joke with them, and I make fun of them, and I ridicule them. But, and I think that's kind of what Leafy does here, but the difference is, is, is Leafy doesn't know the individual. And he just picks out channels and, and does his thing, and that's okay. I'm okay, I'm okay with that. He's made me laugh, and you know what? My policy is this, okay? If someone roasts me or someone makes fun of me, and I laugh in that, Guess what? Or if somebody else laughs, you can't get mad about that, all right? That's just the way it is. Suck it up. So, Leafy finds this guy out there, and his name is Tommy NC2020. Okay. Now, listen. Tommy may or may not have some sort of, of challenge in his life, but from watching his videos, and they were excruciating to watch, let me just say, as, as you kids say today, they were cringy, all right? But Tommy's doing his thing, and Tommy's about going out and helping people day in, day out. And you know what? I'm okay with that. That's what he wants to do, fine. But what Tommy needs to understand and what Tommy needs to grasp of, and if Tommy isn't maybe capable of that, which I don't think that he's not able to understand this, then the people who are around him handling him and handling his channel need to help him come to these understandings that when you're putting yourself out there, people are going to criticize your work. You have two ways of dealing with that. You can take that criticism and examine what they're saying and say, hey, you know what, is there any truth behind this? And if there is, then you know what, maybe possibly I need to do something about that. Or you could do what Tommy did, which was go on YouTube and cry about how he was getting death threats and this and that and whatever else and, and boo-hoo-hoo. Well, you know what, I'm sorry, okay? I just don't have any sympathy there. Okay, Not because of his situation or what his limits may be, but the simple fact that he couldn't handle a little bit of criticism. Bottom line. All right? Let me tell you something. In my opinion, and that, my opinion in about a buck and a half will get you a cup of coffee. But where Leafy screwed up was, A, he took down his, his work, and B, he apologized for it. He shouldn't have done that. 
Leafy, you need to grow a pair of balls, dude, and stand behind what you did and not back down from it because you're worried about maybe possibly losing a few subs and people uh, not following you anymore. All right? And let's talk about H3H3 H3 on this deal. Listen, dude, you are probably one of the biggest douches that I've ever met, okay? You make the same type of videos when you first started out as Leafy is doing, okay? You ridiculed people and you made fun of them. And that was the foundation that you built your channel. Now, you may not be doing that anymore, but it doesn't matter. You did it. And for you to sit there and come on and uh, uh, try to abuse or to uh, attack, rather, uh, Leafy in the sense that maybe you would cause him to lose subs and you would gain some subs in the situation. Okay, that was just a douche maneuver, man. Matter of fact, that's worse than worse. Than, you're just a douche nozzle. You're not even the whole douche. Okay, in conclusion, guys, I just want to put out there, follow that old adage as a kid when I was growing up. You know, my mom always told me sticks and stones may break your bones, but words will never hurt you. Just ignore them. Ignore the comments in your channel if you have it open to comments. Or embrace them and understand that maybe they're giving you some criticism that you need to look at and say, hey, this is going to make me a better YouTuber. Or if you can't handle that, option C, quit. And with that, y'all have a good day.